Hi, today is Tuesday, May 4th, and we're continuing on with our resume tip week. Today we're going over five ways to improve your resume. And the most important thing that you need to remember while working on your resume is you need to ask the question, would you be compelled to read this resume if it was not your own? What sticks out, grabs your attention, and sets you apart from other applicants in the applicant pool? Using these five steps that I'll give you today could make the difference in getting noticed and getting the interview for the job that you desire. Number one, spell check, the old fashioned way. Computers can often miss grammar and spelling errors, so make sure that you read it yourself, spell check. When you have spelling and grammar errors, it shows the employer that you do not have attention to detail, and that's something that's really important, so make sure that you read it yourself. Number two, put it in reverse chronological order. Organize your resume to reflect your most recent job at the top and then go down from there. It is important to make sure that you have the dates of employment along with the name of the employer that you worked for. Number three, simplify your language. Keep your sentences short. Don't worry about if the sentences are fragments or not. Leave out personal pronouns such as I, me, and my. Omit articles such as a, ah, an, and the. For example, if you have worked with the Alumni Association to coordinate special events, you can just simply say, Coordinated Alumni Association Special Events. Make sure to take out terms like assisted in, participated in, and helped with. For example, if you assisted in managing client accounts, just simply say, Manage Client Accounts. And make sure that you change passive statements to action verbs, such as you use coordinated, for example, you coordinated client meetings instead of assured client meetings were coordinated. Number four, eliminate the clutter. Format your resume for consistency and easy reading. Bold, italicize, and underline important events, but do not use it all at one time. It's too fluttery, crazy, and hard to read. And use a standard font like 11 point Times New Roman or Arial. Number five, the last one is read it aloud. Read your resume out loud to help you identify areas that need improvement or clarification. I hope that these tips have helped you get a better idea of ways to get your resume noticed for an interview. On Thursday, we're, we will be going over ways to reword and your resume and your activities as well as words to leave out in your resume. Don't forget that Sunday is Mother's Day. Do not wait until the last minute to show your mom your appreciation so make sure you get out there and get something special for her. And remember to follow us on Facebook and Twitter for updates throughout the day. Have a great day!